Welcome to this week's episode of Your Stock Request for the 7th of March. Hi, I'm Michael Gable, Managing Director of Fairmont Equities. Your Stock Request is a weekly video where I take your requests and analyse the share price charts. So this week we're looking at Grange Resources, Remelius, Transurban, AVG, Premier Investments and Main Pharma. So if you have a request, email it through so we can look at it next week. Make sure you share this video on social media. Make sure you've signed up to our free newsletter. And finally, just remember that any advice here is general only. So with Grange Resources, um, we'll just zoom in here on the weekly chart. Going back the last couple of years, um, textbook case of a strong trend. So we've got impulsive moves up, um, corrective moves back, uh, and volume on the way up, and no volume on the way down. So we can see that played out, uh, playing out over the last uh, sort of year and a half, and here's the volume down here. So, so far it's doing all the right things. If we zoom out a bit, um, you'll notice that it's getting some resistance, as you'd expect, um, at this 2014 high. But at the moment, it's not doing anything that has me worried. So it's all looking good. Um, bit of a consolidation here. Um, and I think it will eventually just pop through and head to higher levels. Um, RMS, Remelius, so weekly chart, zooming in. Um, similar situation, just very nice moves up. Um, you know, very strong trend. Um, so we'll just go to the daily so it's a bit clearer. So bottomed out November. Just nice strong moves up, corrective declines, volume in the right places, uh, doing all the right things. It's come back for you know the last week, but no warning signs yet. Um, so I think it's just one to keep holding on to. Um, Transurban, so we'll zoom out to the weekly on this one to start with. Um, so we could see a couple of uh, attempts to get through, sort of $13 failed. Um, back in 2017, um, and at the moment it's sort of getting close to that sort of peak uh, again. So, um, you know, you're probably you're probably getting a bit of risk to. It's probably a bit risky to try to buy it here at the top of the of the range. Um, either we want to buy it on a dip or on a breakout. Um, at the moment, it's not doing anything uh, negative. So I think that it looks like it might want to break out. Um, if it does, then because it's, uh, I guess, been in a range for such a long time, you might get a decent move. So I think you're better off waiting for the breakout and then you'll have enough upside to have a bit of a trade there. Otherwise, at the moment, it's just a bit risky. It may well just turn down and uh, head to the bottom of the range here. AVG, so that's Australia Vintage. Um, Rallied off the lows um, from the end of last year, but it was a bit of a struggle when you compare it to these big sharp declines that were experienced during 2018. Um, bit of price rejection here, so this is the weekly chart. We'll zoom in for you. So weekly chart, price rejection there, bit of a concern, hasn't really made much progress um, since last week. So look, I'm a bit neutral on this. I don't really know what it wants to do and the market doesn't know what it wants to do. We can see just looking at the, the candlesticks over the last few months. So, um, yeah, a bit unclear at the moment. Um, Premier Investments, so a very bullish move here over the last um, month and a half. Um, we could see the crossing on the, on the MACD down here giving us a buy signal. Um, now, if we just move to a daily chart, firstly what I'll do is we'll measure the retracement and compare it to the, um, the decline at the end of last year. So this is the decline at the end of last year. This is the retracement. As we can see, it's just pushing through the 50% retracement mark. Maybe it'll get to the 61.8. Um, but as we could see, there's a couple of prior sort of peaks here. If I just get rid of the Fibonacci tool, just zoom out a bit. We could see that this $17 region um, it's going to give it a lot of resistance. So I think if you're looking to buy this one, you'd, you'd wait for some sort of natural dip to happen here. But generally the chart looks strong. So I think beyond any sort of short-term dip, uh, assuming that 
the next set of results are okay because these guys should report in a few weeks from now, um, then it may well be able to continue heading higher. And finally, main pharma. Um, obviously, it's uh, um, struggling. We're looking for clear signs of support around 80 cents and um, obviously it's broken under that. So if we just move to a weekly chart and just zoom in a bit, um, we could see the, the rate of decline here. Um, this down week coincided with a bit of a spike there in volume, so that's not a good sign. So look, the way this thing's trading at the moment, um, you'd expect that the path of least resistance is to the downside um, and you'd be looking at the low 60s. Obviously, it's been a key level for main farmer in the past. So if you're looking to pick it up, uh, I don't think there's any need to rush into it. I think you'll see it uh, down at this region and then the next step is to hopefully find some support. All right, well, that's it for this week. Um, send me your requests and we'll try to look at it next week. And once again, make sure you share this video on social media.